this is her new one. Her like that came out just this month. This is what is actually prompting me to deal with recipe clutter because I have many of hers and I would like the freedom to be able to explore this one. And we're getting kind of crowded, as you can see. I mean, look, I'm not decluttering. I'm not decluttering Kit Kats. This shelf behind me right here is my boundary for recipes. When you're dealing with clutter, a really good idea is to set a boundary for the items that you're trying to contain the clutter. Uh, so for me, I've designated this one shelf to house my recipes. It started to bleed. The cookbooks have bled into Andy's junk cabinets over here. So my space is, my clutter is now exceeding the boundary that I have designated for it. Over a year ago, I decluttered cooking magazines, cookbooks using the 9090 minimalism roll. Did I get it in there? <laughs> this one. Mm. Okay, so this is my donate pile so far. <laughs> that means that if you haven't touched it in 90 days and you don't think you're gonna touch it in another 90 days, that's six months of your life that you're hanging on to that category of clutter. And then I have other things in here like recipe, whoops, recipe supplies, binder organization supplies. I mean, stuff I don't, this is my gardening notebook. And then there's other, another recipe, a lunch bag. And then there's a bunch of stuff in here. See, this got buried and I actually like this one. There's a bunch of stuff in here that's not recipes. Everything needs a home. I actually use this for pantry. Everything needs a home or else this happens, right? I kind of don't need to smell it hop. <laughs> Halloween has happened, but that's okay. All right. Uh, recipe binder. This is uh, thumbtacks for a science project we're doing in school. More supplies. <clears throat> More supplies. More supplies. Okay, so these are Andy's junk cabinets, which he has expressed interest in dealing with not gonna be this video. He's at work. So up there, I have more. Recipe clutter. Head into the stack. All right, so we have five cookbooks. My master, nope, we have six. I use this guy. Look, <laughs> the spine is broken. I've tabbed a bunch of stuff. Okay. So we have six cookbooks. My main one, loose recipes, we're gonna actually dive into this, and then supplies, and then candy. Okay, and now my space is clear. I am gonna give it a nice clean. This is the secret chocolate stash for Andy and I. <laughs> I'm just gonna continue to hide it. All right, where we hide it, my dad also likes it. So when he visits, so I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna push these back so it's a little bit easier to get in and out. And then this one, I, I don't use this. I asked Andy if he wants to keep it. I'm waiting for a response from him. So we might get rid of this guy, but except for this brand new one that came this week, I have used all of these in the last 90 days. So I'm gonna hang on to them because the 90-90 rule isn't gonna work for me. I do enjoy these. I enjoy cooking from them, meal planning from them. So I'm actually gonna keep these. I'm also gonna keep this one because I have two recipes right now that I really like and I'm um, two for two. I haven't tried anything, I've only tried two, but I liked them both. So we're gonna keep using this for a while. I just switched out what's gonna be featured on the counter for right now. Okay, so let's talk about, let's talk about the front pocket of this. Okay, so a couple of like old menus that I use for ideas and then some things I wanna try, some recipes I'd like to try. Now, this one in particular, we made it once, it's pretty intense. 
And it falls into the category of aspirational recipe. This is also pretty intense, but it was very healthy and tasty. So there's, there's, I have aspirational recipe clutter. That's what I have. It, it's kind of like hanging on to clothes that don't fit. Whether they're too small or too big, it's aspirational. It's, it's a version of myself that I think I could be, or I might be, and I hang on to it. Aspirational recipe, recipe clutter is the exact same thing for me, where I'm hanging on to recipes for the cook that I, I might be. So it's a complicated, time-consuming, intense, lots of ingredients, really messy in the kitchen kind of recipe. I like to think I'm gonna be that person, I'm not that person. That's not the season of life I'm in right now. So if I'm realistic about recipes that don't fit my life, I'm able to get rid of some. And that's what I'm gonna focus on next. Try pocket. I'm just gonna take stuff out and put it in there. This binder's <laughs> loved. Over here, I don't even know what this is. This I use to write on these chalkboard labels. I use these chalkboard labels in my pantry and I have a pantry label thing that isn't kept in my recipe cabinet. It is kept in my pantry. So I'm gonna put that with that. These are extra sleeves for my binder and my binder is also reaching capacity. So this is Colorado Springs. So this makes me think this might be Andy's or for my mother-in-law. I'm going to have to ask her. So I'm gonna set that aside for now. I don't know what that is. Probably put that in the truck. Okay. All I really need to save is this part. I wanna make it easy to get out of the cabinet. So first thing I'm gonna do is this. I'm going to assess this for any recipes that made the binder, made the cut, meaning I cooked them, we liked them, or loved them, and they made the binder as a permanent family crowd pleaser, except maybe I haven't made it in a while. Maybe we've outloved it, so it needs to come out. But um, I make Rangy his dog treats, that's just in the front. And then in the front of each section, I have a table of contents for each section. So this is veggie. And these are all the veggies stuff that made it in here. So for instance, I don't make this lo mein for them anymore. The buttermilk or cheddar can come out. I don't make that. So there's two recipes right there that I'm actually gonna pull. And so I'm just gonna cross these out because the handy part of this is that I know right in the section where to go for the recipe that I want. I happen to numerate it now in the numerator. Now the numbers don't matter because I'm taking stuff out. So I'm gonna move stuff around though. I'm gonna probably move things around so that I have less sleeves in the binder. This one, you know. Pasta lentil soup potato leek soup, egg drop soup, and then uh, garlic linguine. So those are all my veggie recipes that the family is currently loving. So I'm decluttering three. I'm decluttering three, and I'm going to declutter them to the trash. All right, we're one sleeve thinner and decluttered three recipes. Now chicken. So I'll take that guy out. The rest of these are all really popular with my husband and my kids. So I'm just going to take out that one. Because this one actually just sits in here and takes up space. So this is trash. And then can I move? Nope, I can't free up a sleeve in this section. So it is what it is. Okay. Pork. This is a, yep, I have one pork recipe. <laughs> okay. Turkey. I think I have one. I have two, yeah, that's my pork. This is my turkey recipe. I have one, well, we have Thanksgiving and then I make a turkey roll. Actually, yeah, I'll keep that one. Okay, beef.
these are all great. <laughs> my family eats all of these. Shrimp scampi, my family eats. Okay, we're on the crock pot. Yeah, we do all of this. See, I, I keep this binder pretty tight. I, I uh, It has to have been cooked several times and four out of five people in the house have to like it to make the binder. <laughs> so um, what I'm actually just getting rid of from here are things that I don't cook anymore and I make all of these. I make all of those. Sides. Yeah, I make all of these. Desserts, yeah, we make all of these. These are mostly like family recipes. Most family recipes. Definitely make chocolate chip muffins, buckeye balls, my mother-in-law zucchini bread. As you can see, I lived a life without plastic sleeves. Uh, I don't make this. I haven't made that in a really long time, but I wrote so good on it. Sometimes you can see when you printed it. 2015. 2015. It's probably the last time I made it. I am going to take this out. That one's done? Yeah, I make that. Yes, I make that. Yes, I make that. Just made that recently. All right, and look. I got all of these tabs and sleeves here, so this is even more. I'm gonna put this with office supplies upstairs because it's too many. So what I need from this is for it to be easy. I need to, like when I meal plan, I sit down with this and I pick one cookbook or so and then plan out the week or two weeks or whatever it is that I'm meal planning for. So I need it to be easy. I need to be able to easily grab my binder and easily pick a cookbook. So I've made that possible. Um, I've decluttered five recipes, possibly one cookbook if my husband's good with getting rid of it. Now I need to deal with the aspirational recipes to try stack because I really do not want to shove them back into this pocket. I like keeping recipes to try, um, but I only want to hang on to a few. I want to hang on to old meal plans because that's usually what I grab for ideas. So uh, that's actually one of the tips I put in my 41 meal planning tips blog post. I'll leave a link for that below, um, is to hang on to old meal plans because it gives you ideas. All right, let's look at this guy. So I actually have all the ingredients for this and we're trying it this weekend. So I'm gonna keep this one for try. Uh, I even put this in a sleeve already. I guess I thought it was gonna be delicious. Uh, my kids don't like anything that has visible spinach. I like to hide spinach in things. Creamy Parmesan sauce. I'm going to say that this is, this is aspirational. I, I have a lot of chicken recipes. I'm not going to use this one. She pan chicken fajitas. This is actually something, yeah. Um, yeah, uh, I, I've. I've made a version of this. This is just her version. I don't think I have a recipe for it. But I like a buffet style fajita dinner that the kids choose whatever they want. So I'm gonna hang on to this one. I have a slow cooker Tuscan chicken recipe already. Trash. Uh, easy teriyaki glaze. Andy made that. He wanted to keep that. Crock pot Mexican chicken. Sounds so good though, doesn't it? Where did I get this one? EasyDinnerIdeas.com. Cooks all day with black beans, corn, and salsa. I make my own salsa. I make my own taco seasoning. This is so easy though. Look at that. You just dump it all in there. Hmm. I'm going to go with no, because it's been in here. When did I print it? When did I print this? April. It's been sitting in here since April. Okay. It's been sitting in here for seven months. I never cooked it. Let's get real. Street corn chicken, same thing. Seven months, probably the same video from Julia. Let's just throw it out. Okay. Tortilla soup. <laughs> Uh, Andy and I are probably the only ones that would eat this, which means it's not family friendly. Bacon fried dumpling noodles. These were delicious, but time consuming. And that's just not my season of life for dinner. Bye. 
Okay, we're getting in a groove now. I, I usually need to get like warmed up when I'm decluttering, even decluttering recipes. I'm trying to make it easier to meal plan and to cook. So having all this extra stuff that is like a silent to-do list of cook me, look at the chef you could be, but you're not. So get real, Erica. Okay, this was very yummy and Andy and I made notes. So I'm gonna hang on to that because that's a nice like Saturday or something. Oh, that doesn't belong in here. Goes in the pantry. Yes, I do wanna try this. Slow cooker Olive Garden chicken pasta. I even bought the, I even bought the Italian dressing for it. All right, this is just Italian chicken in the crock pot. I already have a recipe for it. So I'm just gonna say, I don't need a second recipe for it. Hamburger, who has a, I don't need a recipe for hamburgers. We have a method. I wonder why I printed that. April 14th, huh? same day. Clearly I was on a Julia roll that day. All right, French onion pot roast. I have a recipe for that. Slow cooker creamy ranch and potatoes. I have a recipe for that. Smoked brisket, ants, Andy. We'll keep it. Meatloaf, this was delicious. I made this. This was delicious. We're keeping this and I need these directions. I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, and I just popped it in the oven on a sheet pan with vegetables. It cooked beautifully. All three kids ate it. Actually, this was a five out of five. I need to make a note. Usually I double back, make a note. Who liked it? Who didn't like it? Um, and then add it to the binder. So I need to do that. This is an ad. These are tries. Okay. I don't need a recipe for caprese salad. I know how to make it. Andy printed this. Chick-fil-A nuggets copycats. Not, we're not going to do that. Oh, I printed this one twice. And here's the directions for it. Nice, nice. This is Andy. Okay. This is trash. Okay, okay. We're doing good. Okay, now we're going to add this guy to my beef section. Here's how I do it. Beef. Did I scribble anybody out for beef? No, of course not. So now watch me have to add a sleeve. Yep. Sleeve. And because this binder's a little too thick, I'm gonna take some extra out because seriously, I do not do this regularly where I've gotta add in a bunch of recipes. I just repeat what works. Beef. Ooh, 15. Almost gonna need a second page here. Um, mini meat loaves. Doot, doot, doot. Andy's. Oh, I missed one. Chicken baked potatoes. I'm not going to make that. This is. I'm not going to make this again. Too time consuming. Okay, this is an Andy. She pan fajitas is a try. Beef noodle skillet is a try. Ooh, I'm down to two tries. And some old meal plans. I'm just going to fold these. These are things my husband's like, I'm going to do a brisket this weekend. And then he finds his brisket recipe in my binder. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I actually don't need that in here because it's, it's messing up my pocket. Okay. All right. I'm digging. I'm digging. Looks good. Okay, so now this guy just needs a home. This is what I use. I'm, I'm going to figure out this one. This might be for my mother-in-law. might be a family kind of thing. So I'm going to hang on to it for now until I understand more about it. These are supplies that I actually really use to make notes inside of cookbooks. So, like, too much cream cheese. Next time I make this, I'll use less cream cheese. I'm just going to, like, set it to the side like that it's the only supply I have for meal planning and cooking. Yay! 
Yay. Yay. I pulled my hair back in the process. <laughs> you know when my hair is in a ponytail, I am serious about decluttering. Okay, you did great. I made that cabinet way more functional and answered the question, how can I make this easier? I just made meal planning easier for myself. I don't have to open this cabinet and then have that silent to-do list, like clean me, cook me, that's gone. Now it's just grab what you want, knock out your meal plan, go grocery shopping. I've made it easier to do the thing that I do regularly. I feel great. <laughs> I feel great. Okay, so check the blog link, blog link? The link for the blog post below for uh, meal planning tips that I've just shared <laughs> as part of my life. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Here's another video.